Hello everyone, it's Nicole and today I have a Goodwill Outlet haul, which is a pay by the pound, I pay $1.30 a pound Goodwill, and it's all shoes. So I went to Goodwill today, it was really great. Um, I just found a ton of really crazy good shoes. I did get some clothes, but we're just gonna turn this into just a shoe haul because I got almost 100 pounds of just shoes. I only got about 20 pounds of clothing, but the shoes were incredible. So I have four giant Ikea bags. I don't know how many pair I have in total. We can count that together. I have a lot of boots, so they were heavier. Um, but we're gonna dive right in. I'm gonna show you the shoes I got. I'm super excited. If you haven't had these drinks, they're very good. Okay, so um, a lot of them will need cleaning. That's pretty basic, not a big deal. Um, if you haven't seen it, I just did a cleaning video where I cleaned a bunch of Ugg boots that I got at Goodwill Outlet and I've already sold a bunch of them. I've more than doubled my money from that whole entire haul. It's been great. So. Let's dive into these shoes. I'm really excited. I love listing shoes. Shoes have a really good um, ROI and they are great. These are really cute. They're an eight and a half. Okay, these are just Toms. They're perforated, peep toe, booties, super cute, really good shape. I'm excited about these bad boys. I do have some puckering on the elastic right there, you can see. I will just note that in the listing. The next pair, I did not, okay, so this is an interesting situation because I saw these, I knew they were fancy looking, I knew they were really nice looking booties. Look at that like laser cut into the leather with this stacked heel. The heel does have a little bit of damage, but we'll just note that. Um, but there was no, the issue was that you can see in here there's like an insole and it's super sticky, like I couldn't peel it up. So, um, I didn't know what brand these were. And I was like, darn it, I have no idea what brand these are. So I started looking for any sort of indicators of what brand these could be. And I saw this little M and C right there. If you can see it. So I Googled M and C, now I forget what it is. But um, by doing that, I was able to pull up the brand and these are actually pretty good. So I think I'll probably be able to sell this pair for about 25 to $30 when you're paying about a dollar a pair for them. That's good. Uh, the next thing I got was just a pair of pink Converse. I will see if my daughter wants these. They're actually her size. If she doesn't want them, these are great to just list on Poshmark. I should be able to sell them in the $20 range. They are kid size one. Then I have these, somebody had thrown these back and I was like, I'll take them. These are just dance go slip on clogs. They're in really good shape. Um, I did do the twist test. You always want to twist, 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 twist. Make sure that there's no dry rot because if dance clothes aren't stored properly, they will get rot in the hills and they'll just crack as soon as you wear them. And you can, it's not visible, so you have to actually kind of like bend the shoes to see if it's in there. I have these Ugg boots. They do have some water marks on the toes, but I should be able to clean those right up. They're size 11, super cute. I actually got a ton of Uggs again. There was a whole nother bin full of Uggs. We'll get to that. Um, I bought these BOC ankle booties. They are a size 10, great size, super good condition. My Goodwill wanted $12.99 for them and no one bought them. So. I was excited to score these. They are in perfect shape, to be honest. It looks like they were probably only worn maybe once. I mean, there's no, all the nutties are still on the heels, on the soles. Next we have this pair of shoes. So I'd never heard of this brand before. I went ahead and looked it up um, and it actually is sold on some really high web end websites. Alberto, that brand right there. Anything that says like made in Italy and is made of nice leather, I always look up. So these are great. I, um, sorry, I had something stuck in my throat, but these are just really cute wedges. They do need some leather conditioner. You can see there's some surface scratches, but I'll use my Dr. Wonder or Dr. Martin Wonder Balm on these and I should be able to clean them up nicely. Okay, and then I did get a couple pair. There was a bunch. I, I got there about an hour and a half 
after they opened and I'm guessing this bin of shoes had been out since open so I don't know how I scored so much good stuff but um they had like 20 of these bags and they all had shoes with them at one point so um some of them were too worn I did get a couple pair and I even got a key for one of them I'll just like remove the little nubbies. Um, I bought two pair. They were super lightweight. I mean, these probably cost me 50 cents. They're in decent condition. These are just Nike running shoes. So I got this pair and this pair. I didn't look up comps, but I can usually sell these for about 20. Ah, oh, I shouldn't have bought these. I should have known that they were thrown back for some reason. I did a good job checking all the other ones for holes. These have holes. These are trash. Um, that's a bummer. Okay. Well, but these are just to redonate, but whatever. It happens. It happens. I do have these still. These are not damaged. Okay. Well, you know, I think that, that happens. I'm not going to freak out about it. Um, we all make buying mistakes. Okay, next up. These are really cute. Um, these are really good fall shoes for fall, which is the season that is coming up, which is the season you should be listing for right now. These are just boring, but how fun are these? This is big chunky block heel, super soft leather with the tassels. I love these and I'll be able to use the style number to look them up. They're born um, crown. There we go. You can see that. Um, but yeah, I thought these were really cute. So I went ahead and grabbed them. Probably like a $25 sale. Okay, I was super excited about these next couple pairs. So I was actually standing, this was total luck because these happened to roll out and they rolled out, the way our bins work is they do it in like big rows. So they'll roll out six or eight tubs at a time and everyone lines up around the tubs and then you have to wait until all of them have stopped. And as soon as all of them stop, you can dig in, but you're standing right next to the stuff. So when they roll it out and they stop it, you're just standing right there until everything is stopped moving. You should, this took about 10 minutes to stop moving. So I had to stand there for 10 minutes and look at these shoes and be like, please let me be the one who gets them. They were right in front of me, kind of off to the, like the next, they were right in front of the person next to me, but I knew he wasn't looking at them when I got them. These are like brand new. I was shocked that these were at the bin um, because it, I don't think these were ever at a retail store. So these are Fly London's. Super cute sandals. Again, like mint condition, no, no wear on this pair of shoes at all. And then these were right next to them. I also scored these. Again, mint condition, no wear. These were never at a retail Goodwill store. They went straight to the bin. How cute are these? Um, Tsubu, I don't know how to pronounce it. I loved these. So yeah, I scored these. That was just luck that I just happened to be standing in front of these bins when they rolled out. But I was very excited. Those were great finds. Um, these were also in that bin. Not as great of a find, but still a nice platform cork wedge Tom sandal. And... These Birkenstocks were also in that bin that rolled out right in front of me. So these are great, size 39 suede Birks. These are Ugg slippers. And let's see, in that bin that rolled out right in front of me were also these bad boys. These were the second thing I reached for after I got those Fly Londons and those blue shoes. I saw these, they were also sitting on top. No one grabbed for them. Um, but these are great. These are dance goes, but they are a desirable style of dance go. Really, really cute. Look at this, all that detail. So good. And these are in great shape as well. There was a bunch of shoes in this bin that rolled out in front of me that were like in boxes. So I think that maybe it was stuff that was supposed to go online or something weird because all of the shoes in there were decent. Um, 
they were all like really good condition. And then as far as like brands go, there were some good brands. Most of it was like, you know, normal brands, but I picked out some good stuff. So those were in there. And then both pair of these were in here. I'm guessing the same person donated them. They are Doc Martens. So they're just like a Doc Martin Mary Jane Hill. So there's this pair and this pair. So that was cool. I got a black and a brown pair. They're very, very similar. Again, I'm guessing the same person, same size, donated these. Um, so I did have some weird things happen at the bins today. So it's 39. Yeah, same size. Um, so you guys, I had the weird thing said. If you you already might have already seen my Instagram story, but. I had people say really random things to me today. Like, you know, do you ever feel like you're just on the Truman Show? Do you ever feel that way? So today, I had two weird things happen. The first was when I was getting my coffee on the way to the bins. The girl handing it to me at the window was like, oh, hey, I like that tattoo of the brass knuckles on your arm. I really, really shouldn't because my dad was assaulted with the brass knuckles and he almost died, but he's okay now. So I really like that tattoo. And I was like, I don't know what to say to you. This is, a, she said some weird things to me in the past. This is not my first encounter with the barista who says weird things, but uh, that happens. And then at the bins, another weird thing happened. This regular, he's there a lot, but he's just kind of like, he he's followed me around before. I try to just kind of avoid him and not talk to him. Um, he comes up to me and I have my headphones in, I'm sorting my stuff and he's talking and I'm just like, oh, I can't really hear you, sorry. Because if you engage with him, he talks for a very long time. I try not to engage. So he says, he just keeps talking though. He just keeps talking. Why well, don't I understand that? He just keeps talking. He finally takes, he's finally, I'm just like, I give up, white flag, like pull out my headphone. And he goes, you know, I haven't seen you. We haven't talked in so long. I think the last time we talked was April 11th. <laughs> That's very specific. <laughs> very specific. I've never had anyone come up to me and be like, I haven't talked to you in so long since this exact date. What do you say to that? I don't know you. Why do you know the last time I talked to you? And is that actually correct? And then he told me about how his wife died of a heart attack super randomly. Like he, but I don't think he had a wife and I don't think she had a heart attack because he was super nonchalant about it. Like, yeah. And then my wife had a heart attack. Just like, boom, like she died. And I was like, that's not. So anyway, those things happened to me today. I just really needed to share those stories with you guys. I'm going to continue on with my bins haul now. Um, I don't. I don't know why that happens to me. I don't ask for this. I don't, I don't make eye contact with people. And yet I still get these stories. Boom, she died. I said nothing, by the way. I said nothing in response. I just stared at him and he kept talking about something. And I think finally slowly I was like, yeah, mm -hmm. just like pushed my card away. Next up, we have a pair of sandals. Kind of like how I just did that, how my transition worked. Like, so yeah, next up, sandals. These are just soft brand sandals. These do well for me though, or these like comfort shoes do. Um, especially in these bigger sizes. These are a size 11 comfort sandal. Look at those studs. Ooh, get fancy with your comfort shoes. I feel ya. I just wanna wear comfy shoes too these days. A pair of Sorrel kid boots. They do, they have some mud on them, but that's like the least of my worries. That's very, very easy to clean off. This pair of Keen, um, these are like professional. These might even be like a non-slip uh, Keen shoe. Keen sells super good for me on Poshmark. It's kind of crazy, like super, super good. Uh, I got these rain boots for my daughter. They're just glittery. If she doesn't want them, they'll sell either way. Look at that glitter. Woo woo, glitter rain boots. Western Chef, Chief, Chef, Chief, 
Chief. Chief. Uh, glittery rain boost, super condition, and I think they sell these even at like Nordstrom. So these should be able to sell even in the $20 range if my daughter doesn't want them. Um, lots of Uggs will be coming in a second once I find the bag they're all in, but here's a pair of Uggs. They just need to be cleaned, but I very much enjoy cleaning these now. It's a thing I'm doing right now. They're selling really well for me. So there's a pair of Uggs. Then we have a pair of TUK. These are very popular with like the rockabilly scene. Um, just a really cute pair of alternative style shoes with those little hearts on them. How cute would this be? Even like, it's just a cute pair of shoes. Somebody will want those. Natives, I always buy these when I see them at the bins. They're very lightweight. They wash up really well. They're very easy sell. Those kid natives. Um, a pair of Michael Kors. These are like driving. No, these aren't driving ones. These are just like, there's a name for these, these shoes. What is the name of these, st the style? Ah! Anyway, these are Michael Kors. Clean them up. They'll be able to sell. I don't buy anything unless it's going to be able to sell. So I don't know why I say that in these videos, but you know, these are Crocs. These will sell. Um, a size 10. Yes. Pointy toe sling duck Crocs. I saw some crazy rainbow Crocs and I was like, Ooh, but they were across the bin. Someone got them before I could get them. So when I walked in, I saw people sorting because I got there about an hour and a half after opening and I started to see a lot of Uggs and I was like, no way this is happening again. And it totally did. There was like a full bin where you could tell it was nothing but Uggs. Um, so I don't know what's happening with that. Again, I'm guessing it's just like e-com. So they're pulling all the Uggs for to go on to goodwill.com. Um, and then this is just stuff that didn't sell or that they decided not to use. Who knows, but there was definitely a ton of Uggs there again. So you know your girl got them. You know your girl bought them. I'm just sad about the ones I didn't get to because I didn't get there open. The ones that got away, ladies and gentlemen, these are not Uggs. These are Ivanka Trumps. Not my favorite to buy, but the color is super in right now. This like purple lavender. Yeah. They're in really good shape. This is a very on trend color right now. Don't mind my panda band aid, by the way. I uh, had a hang now. There you go. Life story right there. I'm sure you wanted to hear all about that. Uh, okay, let's get to some of the Uggs. So there's these ones are my favorite, you guys. I love these so much. They don't look like Uggs. They're actually my size, but I don't need them. So I will sell them. They're size 11. How amazing are these bad boys? suede like biker boot Oof. love these uggs i love these i did keep a pair from my last haul though i'm literally wearing them right now because they're cozy cleaned them up bought some new insoles and now i have a pair of house uggs because I, joe would be very mad if i <laughs> look joe doesn't complain about much like he really doesn't he's a very level-headed doesn't care kind of dude but he does not like Uggs out of the house. <laughs> so he's basically like, no, don't, those are house shoes. <laughs> so to appease my husband, who's very nice to me most of the time, I won't wear them out of the house, at least when he's around. Definitely picking up the kids and taking them to school in these Ugg boots. They're cozy. And we're going on a road trip. I'm wearing them in the car for 16 hours. But you know. I'm a good wife. Um, anyway, those are great. I was excited about those. Oh, this isn't the Ugg bag. It's fine. Um, I did find these. Somebody threw these back and I was like, I'll take those. No one's in here somewhere. Who are you? Who are you? Um, these are Harley boots. Harley Davidson motorcycle boots. Step into a legend is what it says. So yeah, someone had thrown these back. Sold. I'll take these bad boys. Yes, they're in super good shape. No, they don't have like fancy toes, but thank you. Mine. 
Uh, these comms, they just need to be washed, but they are like a canvas ballet flat. What size are they? What are the size on these things? I know someone's gonna leave a comment and tell me. I don't know why I'm feeling like I need to find out the size right now, but clearly distracted. Now I'm like, <laughs> you know when you wanna find something out and that's not what you're supposed to be doing right then? It's like when you're Googling something and then you go down a rabbit hole and then 20 minutes later you're like, ooh, that's not what I'm supposed to be doing. And that's what this haul is doing right now. We're taking a turn. Oh wait, is that it right there? Look at, I see it down here. Aha! I knew they were a bigger size. I was wondering if they were my size, to be honest. They're not, they're size 10. I'm like a 10, 11, but these probably won't fit me. Um, so they're cute though. I like these Tom's Ballet Flats. I was excited about those. Sometimes I wanna bring a scale and just be like, how much do you weigh? How much did I pay for you? I got, these were a good find. These were in a bin that I had already gone through. I went through the shoe bins, uh, all of them two or three times because you miss things the first round. Um, Vera Wang Lavender. So Vera Wang has a bunch of different tiers. Lavender is an expensive label. Um, so these are just Vera Wang Lavender Ballet Flats. How cute are these? They're in good shape though. So there's no, there's no scuffing or nicks on the toes. Hello, beautiful. Yes, yes. I like this. Um, where are you? Ooh, these were one of my favorite finds. Uh, these were like in with all of the Uggs, and so I'm guessing these were also for Ecom because they don't have any um any good. They never went to Goodwill, which is crazy. These are raw donation Tory Burch heels. Super cute. Really good condition. Hello, hello, hello. Um, the soles are in great shape. There is, uh, my band-aid is so ridiculous. <laughs> you know, if you have kids, you, you just have kid band-aids. Like when we go to the store, it's always like, oh, I want these princess band-aids or whatever. These are just panda band-aids. I don't, I'm just saying, like, you just don't have normal band-aids as a parent. You don't have that. That doesn't happen, so. Do, 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 do. I do have these Toy Bird Hills. They're a size nine and a half, and I was excited to find those. <laughs> these are Jeffrey Campbell's. They are just a jelly. I've actually owned these jellies, and uh, I used to own these years ago. They're a size seven. Little black Jeffrey Campbell jellies. Hold on, it looks like everything is kind of mixed up in here. Um, so this, I found one and then I went around a few times and I finally found the second one. These are Jambu. And they're just like a fun wedge shoe. I wouldn't pay a lot for these. I don't think they'll sell for a ton, but uh, at the bins, I will definitely grab them if they're in good shape. I just noticed the toe is kind of, this toe has a big nick in it in the suede, but I will see if I can clean that up. Um, and you know, honestly, sometimes that kind of stuff just happens from being in the bin. Like I highly doubt that was there before. It was just haphazardly thrown into a giant bin full of shoes with things like heels, like spiky heels. These are really cute, plenty by Tracy Please, These, they sell these at Anthropology. Um, Oh my God, I went to Anthropology recent, like three days ago with uh, my friend, my reseller friend who was in town. We went window shopping. Uh, dang, that store is really expensive. <laughs> All the dresses were like a minimum of $200. So hadn't been in there in a while. I used to work in the same building as Anthropology when I had a day job. Um, and I forgot how crazy expensive it is. But how cute are these? Plenty by Tracy Reese. You see that? Is it gonna focus? That is a million dollar question. Will it focus? Uh, super cute heels, size 40. Love that. And there's two. Okay. What else is in this bag of tricks? It's just such a hodgepodge right now. These I got because I love the color. Uh, these are Ann Taylor P 
peep toe wedge shoes suede but they're like a cool seafoam green i hung out with my friend's daughter yesterday and she like is obsessed with seafoam green and she talked about it for a very long time and i think i just subconsciously picked these up because of that okay um these are a pair of earthies which is another like comfort style of shoe these are just a fun pair of earthies that's all i have to say about them <laughs> i don't know what to say that's what these are there was another pair of these earthies um but they were not in good enough condition to pick up rainbow sandals rainbow sandals very very popular uh I like these uh, poetic license. How fun are these, you guys? Hold on. And let me undo them. Let me tie the bow so you can get the full effect about how cute these are. These would be perfect for like a Dumbo, um, like cosplay sort of costume or something. I don't know why I said that, but these are very cute. Uh, so poetic license. If you can see that inside, size forty. I love these. Definitely couldn't leave those behind. I was excited to find them. We have a pair of Ferragamos. I found a couple pair of Ferragamos. I actually find Ferragamos at the bins um, pretty normally, but a lot of the times they're just like not a good vintage. They're older, but like not in a way where I'm going to make enough money off of them to buy them. But these were really cute. These are just a little pair of mules, size 11 actually in that seafoam green uh, suede. There we go. I really like these. So I went ahead and grabbed them. Kitten heel, are kitten heels coming back? I heard that was like a thing that was gonna happen. I I remember wearing kitten heels back in the day. Mm -hmm. And I still remember this boy I had a crush on. I was at the mall, I was like 16 or 17, and I had these pair of kitten heels on he made fun of them. His name was Josh. He made fun of my kitten heels and I'll never forget it. He was like, where's the rest of your shoe? And you know what, dude? You were right. You were right. It's taken me 16 years to come to terms with the fact that you were right. Part of my shoe was missing. Kitten heels are kind of weird like that. But I, I used to think they were awesome. Maybe I'm just getting old and I just can't like when things are becoming trendy again, I'm like, ooh, but like, I rem I have some bad memories with that. So I don't know. I don't know if I can get behind it. Okay, so I got these coach booties. These were also in the first like bins that I came to. I don't know how no one got these before me. I don't, Maybe they had just rotated and I'm wrong about it being out the whole time, but I don't think I am. Um, super good condition, suede, coach. You can see that. Coach booties that I was very excited to find. <laughs> These are comfort shoes, NATO, N-A-T-O. These are an expensive comfort shoe. You can actually replace the insoles on these. Can you, is, it, is it gonna tell you? That brand, N-A-T-O. Um, just a pair of comfort shoes and uh, These are Gentle Souls, which is Kenneth Cole makes these, I believe. And they're just a pair, the leather on these. Yeah, so soft, so soft. Anyway, Gentle Souls, super cozy. I have a pair of, their, uh, I have a pair of boots by them, love them. I got these Uggs, so we're gonna get into a ton of Uggs here. So these were in the Ugg bin. Uh, cute, super studded Uggs. The toes have some dirt around them, but as you guys saw, we can clean the, these bad boys up. They're size eight. I'm excited. I wonder how many times I said I'm excited in this video. If you've counted, feel free to leave a comment let me know, because I know it's an obnoxious amount. These are just toe shoes. I'm gonna throw these in the washing machine. Someone's gonna like them. Um, they're like a suede though, which I thought, I don't buy all toe shoes. If I ever see the toe shoe boots, they did make a boot. I've told this story before. The toe shoe boots, you guys, 
I found a pair. I went to this estate sale and there was like, the dude had a hundred pair of toe shoes and I'm not exaggerating. He had like a room, well, you know, in estate sales, they move things around, but there was like a full wall of nothing but toe shoes. Vib these, these toe shoes, vibrant toe shoes. Um, maybe he worked for the company or something, but they were all his size. So dude was using these and he had, I, uh, I didn't buy a lot of them because they wanted too much money, but there was a couple pair of boots, like tall ankle leather toe shoe boots. I bought them. Um, and I realized that these were made for a very short period of time and they were very desirable. I listed them for like 150 maybe, I don't know, a lot, over, over $100 for each pair. They sold immediately, like immediately to the same person. And then I had people messaging me on eBay being like, hey, do you have these? Like within like hours, just like tons of messages rolling in. I had a dude who was like, I'll pay you just to tell me who bought them because I have been looking for them in that size. And I was like, no, I'm not gonna just, what? What? So yeah, if you ever see the toe shoe boots, apparently those are a thing. These will sell too though. Next up, we have a pair of Dansko boots. Muddy Dansko boots that will easily clean up and sell. Should I sing some more for you guys? Um, okay, I have a ring light and it's like making, it's a blinding me right now. But I do it for you guys, I do it for you. Uh, cause it gives you a better idea of what I'm showing you. Can you see the label on there? These are Ugg boots. Really cute, right? Super cute Ugg boots. Yes. Hello. Ugg boots have style numbers in them, you guys, just so you know. If you don't know, now you know. Use them. Look up the style numbers. These are Michael Kors. There's actually like quite a few pair of Michael Kors shoes. Um, I got these and those other ones I already showed you. There was a couple more pair of heels that I left behind just because, you know, they were damaged or whatever. Um, so I'm wondering if Michael Kors is another brand that they're putting into these Gaylords. So platform Michael Kors. I wish it wasn't showing my face so you guys could just see like the shoe. They're cute. They're actually very cute. They're stilettos. <laughs> they're very cute. They're stilettos. That's what I have to say about them. Okay. More of. We have. A brown pair of Uggs. We have these La, the cat, Caddy, the cardigan style sweater Uggs. I used to have these. I used to wear them all the time. Um, and we have a black pair as well. So we have the gray pair and the black pair. Um, we have these Ugg slippers. We have a pair of, ooh, these have, hold on. Let me see it. I put these in there. Uh, these like red pair of Uggs. You guys, I found a pair of Prada sunglasses and I think they're real. And they were just inside of a shoe and now they're on my face, so. That's disgusting. But hey, I found a pair of Prada, cool Prada sunglasses. And I bought them, and we'll see if I can sell them. Minnetonka moccasins. These bad boys. Um, these are Uggs. They're Koala Burra by Ugg. What does that mean? I don't know. They're cute though. I thought they're a size 12. Size US 12, all right, I can get down with that. Size 43, European. I don't know what that means. Koala baby, bear, <laughs> that's not what it says. Uh, but they're in great shape. Thank you, person, for not wearing these out. <laughs> oh, I gotta dig, I gotta dig. These are cute, they have rhinestones on them. These are Uggs, girls, little, Put those cutie rhinestones on there. My daughter would love these if these were her size. Okay, so I got these little tiny Hannah Anderson 
booties. How cute are these? They have stormtroopers on them. It's from Star Wars. Um, and then I have a couple more pair of Uggs. So I just have like a pair of brown Uggs. Very basic. A pair of brown Uggs. Very basic. Again, these all need to be cleaned. These ones aren't bad actually. They're very soft. Oof. These. Okay. I totally bought these because it was like, I want to see if I can clean these or not. I want to, I have some things that I want to test, but I don't want to test on like a pair that I want to sell. <laughs> like that I'm worried about, you know? So I bought these because they're filthy. Uh, like they just have a ton of damage on them. See, there's like all these surface stains on these little girl Uggs. And I was like, yo, I'm gonna buy these and see if I can get some of these stains out. Just because I have some new tools I wanna use, I wanna see, test it out. So I thought something like this would be perfect to test out um, and see, yeah. To see, just to see, just to test them. Well. Because I don't really care. They're just so dirty anyway. And then I already showed you those. So that's everything except, except one last thing. Are you ready? The teak, the single teak. So I found this teak in that bin that had been out for an hour and a half. I can almost guarantee you the other one was still there. Like this, these bins had, they were like all matched. Like there was a ton of singles. So, and then people, you could tell people had like dug around and there was, I found some shoes like randomly placed. So I found a single teak and I bought it because I really feel like I'm gonna find the other one. Maybe I'm wrong. It's in really good shape. And I was like, look, I'm gonna find the other one. I'm going back the next couple days. So I'm just gonna fingers cross find this other teak. I brought it home. We'll see if I find it or not. And if I don't, you know, it's not a big loss. It's not a big loss. So yeah, I have a single teak. We're gonna try and find the other one though. So I wanna go back again tomorrow, but in order to do that, I made a commitment to myself because, you know, I'm really just trying to prove myself. I'm really trying to prove to myself that I can do certain things, not anyone else. So my commitment to myself is that if I wanna go back in the morning, I have to get all these shoes cleaned. Not photographed and listed, but cleaned, because a lot of times you have to wait till they dry and all that good stuff. So I'm gonna try, I'm gonna start right now. I'm gonna try and clean these up before I go to bed because then I can go to the Goodwill outlet again in the morning and hopefully get more good shoes. I'll report back. If I do that, there'll be another haul. So thanks for listening to me today, you guys. Thanks for hanging out. I really appreciate it. I don't know how many pair of shoes I got. I'm going to count these bad boys here in a second and I will report back. As far as clothing goes, I said I got some clothes today. I didn't get a ton of amazing stuff. I did get a Barefoot Dreams robe. It was mixed in with the blankets. Just so you know, look in the blankets. Um, I was very excited about that robe. I own a Barefoot Dreams robe. It is it is really a dream. It is really a dream. So yeah, I found another one today that should sell for a good amount. And I'm just overall very happy with this haul. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Give me a thumbs up. Give me a thumbs down. Holler at your girl. I'll see you guys soon. Goodbye.